Hey everybody, um, the Lord keeps um, making it clear through various voices that he speaks through that now really, really, really is the time to be sanctifying ourselves. Um, I heard a word this morning that claims that if we do not do the forgiving that we need to do and the repenting that we need to do and so on and so forth um, that things may start manifesting on a physical level once um, September is here um, don't know if you know that's true or if that was necessarily coming from God but I wouldn't you know say it's um, it's impossible you know um, that is what eventually happens is that things do manifest eventually on a physical level so I'm leaning toward believing that uh, it was from God which is why I'm repeating it um, but uh, I've been kind of busy the last few days and, and whatever but I've been trying to I'm kind of juggling going through my own personal like trying to address stuff personally but also working on this assignment that God has given me of just refreshing myself on all the um, all the training and knowledge and everything that he's given me so anyway I just want to pass this along I've mentioned this before um, the restoration of the heart conference by John Eldridge and dr. Dan Allender now I know I've mentioned it a few times on my channel already um, but I want to highlight this specific session of the conference session three the war on the soul this is a good teaching each session is roughly an hour um, it's a teaching by John Eldridge, um, and I, I forget if uh, Dr. Dan Allender um, teaches as well in this session. But anyway, um, it's a great teaching on what I've been trying to promote on my channel, of, of what I've been trying to teach you guys regarding curses and um, just all that kind of stuff of like how to really address things in the spiritual realm um, to to kind of break things off, to, to clean yourself spiritually. Um, so I just want to promote this. I will put a link um, to this session that is on my Google Drive below. Um, I actually logged in to John Eldridge's website. Um, it was Ransomed Heart. It's now Wild at Heart. And um, I went into the tribe um, section where they have all the different videos. And honestly, they don't really make it easy for people to find stuff. So I'm glad that before my thumb drive got corrupted, I did upload this conference onto my Google Drive so I can share it with people. So um, if, if you're not having su success finding stuff or if it seems too much of a hassle to find stuff on their website um, for this conference, you can just go to my Google Drive and pretty much watch the whole conference or most of it. Uh, but I, I just want to highlight this uh, teaching. It's about an hour long teaching. Um, it, I'm drawing a blank. It, it addresses curses, but it also addresses a bunch of other stuff too that I know I've mentioned on my channel. So, um, so in the interim, before I can get around to, ref you know, finish re refreshing myself and getting organized and everything, I'm just putting this out there for, for your benefit. Um, <clears throat> I really do encourage you to start forgiving those who need to be forgiven, uh, and, um, including yourself and God and um and start repenting of your own sins and you know go through the prayerful steps to freedom i will put that below as well as always which is also on my google drive cut soul ties i'll put all that stuff as usual in the in the description box below but now is the time to be breaking stuff off now is the time to be sanctifying and purifying ourselves so that we are as best prepared as we can be to enter into the tribulation which is about to begin next month um and I mean, all the more reason to light a fire under your, your rear end is that, you know, again, there was a word that came out on YouTube this morning that, that if we don't do that, things might start manifesting on a physical level. So all the more reinforcement, all the more motivation to start addressing things. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Derek Prince lately. The Holy Spirit's been leading me to a lot of his teachings his teachings are sound they are solid um and i just started listening to some to his videos last night about how to 
um, how to handle the tribulation, the shaking of all things. And, um, and he pretty much says the same thing. I mean, it's, it's kind of common sense, you know, of like, get yourself prepared spiritually. Forgive people, repent, renounce, revoke, invite the Holy Spirit. You know, um, now is the time more than ever to to do that. So I will link this. I will link this below. I will link um, the prayer to cut ungodly soul ties below. I will link the prayerful steps to freedom, which is basically self de self de deliverance. I'm stuttering. Um, I will put all of that below. But please, please start working on stuff so that you can be as prepared as you can be. For whatever the Lord has for you, whatever assignments he has for you in these end times, um, if you're waiting on a spouse, you know, this will better prepare you for, for your spouse as well. Um, and, and really, you know, your your future marriage with, with your future spouse is really just a, a, um, a ministry, a vehicle for the assignment that God has for you in these end, day, end days, end times. So, um... I don't know if anyone's been praying for me. If you have, I appreciate it. I ended up having to cut my fast short because I was having some bodily issues. Um, but I still went a good 41 hours. So um, I think I'm going to try to start fasting on a regular basis. I've mentioned that recently as well. Um, that's what the Holy Spirit has really led me. Um, ha the Holy Spirit's been leading me to, to Derek Prince lately. And a, a lot of what Derek Prince talks about is all these things of deliverance and holy living and, and all of that and um, that's really where we need to be right now and part of part of the wisdom of holy living and just being strong in the Lord if, if you want power if you want God's power to flow through you <clears throat> you need to be fasting on a regular basis um, he was sharing how the Lord had convicted him at the beginning of his walk to fast once a week you know one day a week um, so that I think is the uh, is a ideal frequency for fasting and I think I might start trying to implement that <clears throat> I was contemplating that last year and I was doing it for a brief season last year but <clears throat> that's how we're going to <clears throat> strengthen our spirit um, and and strengthen our ability to wield um, the power of Jesus's name and and all of that so um, and I and I I believe it not only, you know, does that, but, you know, it just strengthens your ability to hear from God, I think, and um, to receive uh, revelation, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm stumbling on my words. <clears throat> anyway, so I'll put all this below. All right, I bless you all in Jesus' name.